In life, you can do one of two things. You can either work hard to fulfill your dream, or you can work really hard to fulfill someone else's dream. About six months ago, I uploaded my first devlog of a physics-based boxing game I'm making. I had no idea what I was doing. All I knew was that I wanted to make a video game and I wanted to make YouTube videos about it. I had a great job that paid really well. I was working in the movie industry, making visual effects for movies. Big movies. You've most likely seen several of the movies I've worked on. Last week, I gave it all up. That might seem strange. Let me explain. I'm gonna tell you about the most important job I ever had in my life. That taught me everything I needed to know in life. This is the comfort zone. Back in school, I had made a little short film where I used Adobe After Effects to make some simple effects. And I loved it, it was something I truly enjoyed. But, you know, people talked sense into me and told me I could never make money doing that. There was no way someone like me could ever succeed in a space like that. It's too risky. You can't do that. You can't work in movies. It's not for the peons. So, I quickly gave up on that dream. I was 18 years old, fresh out of high school. I grew up in this tiny town that completely revolves around this huge factory that produces newspaper. The people working there had great pay, great benefits, great pension. If you got a job there, you were set for life. If you could get a job here, you'd be right here, in the middle of the comfort zone. Now, I didn't get a job there. That was reserved for people with fathers who already worked there. No, there was this smaller place, it was like, 30 minutes out of town that didn't pay well, didn't give you any benefits, and certainly didn't pay any pension. This place is where all the losers had to work. Obviously, working there was not what I had expected out of life, but long story short, after six months of unemployment, savings depleted, it was my only choice. Well, what I didn't know then is that this horrible job was gonna end up being the most valuable job I ever had to this day. Now, I hated working there. I, I was ashamed. I had to drive out there at like 4.30 in the morning and... I was... here. I barely made any money and I was miserable. I was not comfortable. I spent every waking second thinking about what I wanted to do with my life. All I wanted at the time was to get out of here. Life sucked! I had nothing to lose! So I decided to give it a try, to work in film. Now, of course, everybody told me that this was impossible. I even told myself it was impossible. So, I started putting it off. I was more comfortable where I was. I mean, at least I was making some money. Moving far away and making no money would push me even further out in the non-comfort zone. And that's when it hit me. If I had gotten a job at this cushy paper factory. Do you think I would have even thought about working in the movies? This, right here, is your greatest enemy to you achieving your goals. This, right here, is where progress happens. This is where motivation and creativity is formed, not here. And so I applied for university, worked my ass off, and here we are, 10 years later. I've worked on a long list of movies, and that brings us to this video. I'm living the dream. Why on earth would I quit my job? Everything is going well, it allowed me to work on some amazing projects, and allowed me to travel. I was... here. And we know what happens here. See, the problem is, once you achieve your dream or your goal, you can't stay there. It's like trying to hold water in your hands. Living the dream is waking up every single day working towards your goal in life. Once you get there, you don't really have anything left to work for. See, I stayed in my job for many years thinking I was living the dream. But it slowly dawned on me that I had already realized my dream. And I was getting out of bed every morning, working really hard on someone else's movie, realizing not my own dream, but someone else's dream. And that is very dangerous. So, that brings us back to 
this video. For the past nine months or so, I've been learning Unreal Engine and six months ago, I started working on a physics-based boxing game in my spare time. I also started making videos about my progress and so many of you have started following along, which is just incredible to me. The problem is that making these videos while making the game, while also having a full-time job is just, it's a little hard to keep up. But of course, leaving my job wouldn't be feasible. Again, people told me, you can't do that, it's too risky. You're in a good place, why risk it all? What if you fail? Well, to that I say, it's not a matter of if I fail. I will fail. The question is, what will you do when you fail? Are you gonna quit or are you gonna try again? See, here's the truth. Quitters never win and winners never quit. If you eliminate the risk of failure from your life, you're also eliminating the chance of success. Obviously, this is undeniably a huge risk I'm undertaking. I won't argue that. It was easy to convince myself that, you know, probably work on the game in my spare time and if I ever could release it and potentially see some interest, then maybe at that point I could quit my job and, you know, just make sure we're good. Play it safe. But then again, the right time to make a change is always right now. Instead of worrying about having this big income that would sustain these big spendings, I decided to focus on something that I could control, my expenses. We decided to move to a smaller place in a smaller town where rent and food is cheaper. We sold most of our belongings. And now the income I'm getting from YouTube every month that didn't even begin to cover anything back in Vancouver is actually a pretty good start. Instead of waiting, I quit my job last week. And that's risky. I know that. But... Here's the thing. We're back in business, baby. <laughs> and so what does that mean for you? Yes, it's been a lot of me, 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 but now we're gonna talk about you. If you're a regular on this channel, I wanna say thank you. And as a thank you, you can now expect more and better videos and faster progress on the game, which means that ultimately you'll get to play it sooner. The plan is to work super hard on this game moving forward. As you know, my wife and I played the game for the first time a couple of episodes ago. While it was really fun, I definitely have some balancing to do, but as soon as I've taken care of that, I want to release a version of the game that you can play. Some of you have mentioned that you wanted me to do live streams, which I love the idea, but you see, when you're watching my devlogs, you're seeing hours and days worth of work compressed into 10 minutes. I'm just not sure how entertaining game devving would be live as things take a lot of time and it's just not that entertaining on a minute per minute basis. But you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still open to the idea and I would love to do it. It's just, um, maybe we need to think of some other stuff to do or something. I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think. Of course, this whole quitting business also means that I need to make some sort of income. While YouTube ad revenue is great, uh, we might need to start bringing in some sponsors to the channel. Now, don't worry, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna let it ruin any videos or anything. It's just, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a heads up. Might also look into Patreon, but uh, I will see, we'll figure it out. And so, to reveal the most important part of this whole story, Whatever happened to the paper factory? Well, Apple released the iPhone and then a while later the iPad, which made newspapers completely obsolete. And um, the factory has since then fired over half its workforce. And from what I understand, they're trying to make dish brushes out of paper instead. My understanding is that it's not going that well. So this so-called safe job turned out to be not so safe after all. So what's the moral of the story? So I'm gonna keep making videos about my progress. If you wanna come along on this journey or support me in any way, then please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. Uh, this was a bit of a different video from my usual videos, but instead of just making a boring channel update video, I figured well, let's try to spice it up. Let's try to do something fun. Hopefully it was interesting. If you also wanna learn how to make games like I did, I highly recommend taking the courses I took to learn both Unity and Unreal Engine. I'll put some links in the description. Keep in mind that those are affiliate links, which means that if you end up buying the course, uh, I get a small commission. Don't worry, the price will be the same for you. It'll help me keep making these videos. Go man Asai! I've got a video coming up shortly that I've been working on. Uh, it should be ready in a few days or so, so stay tuned for that. Stay epic, and I'll see you next week!